Hi there and welcome to tutorial 13 on using the regression equation. This is for the Edexcel S1 A level module and is applicable to most other exam boards. As always, if you're looking for further help with your studies, do check out youtube.com slash Mr. Arnold's Maths. Right, so I just want to talk briefly about uh, interpolation and extrapolation using regression. So suppose we did uh, an experiment and we, we, we see that there's a linear regression between the amount of chemical that's produced and the temperature. So as we increase the temperature, we can see we see it seems that we, we get more chemical produced. And then we could work out uh, the regression line because it looks like there's a linear relationship. Now this is not interpolation in a sense of what we've been doing previously with uh, medians and quartiles. It's, it's interpolation using the regression line. So suppose we found out that the regression equation for this was uh, g equals a half t plus 5. So suppose that was the uh, equation of the regression line. I could use the regression equation then to estimate, suppose, how, many, how much grams would be produced at, say, 50 degrees. So the number of grams would equal a half times by 50 plus 5. Working that out, half times 50 is 25, 25 on 5 is 30. And we can see that's consistent with the diagram. So if we go up to our line and across, we can see that we will get, we will expect to get roughly 30 grams of chemical. That's interpolation because it's within the range of data. But suppose I was to ask the question of what if, let me just tidy this up, remove this stuff. What if um, we ask the question of, well, how much chemical is produced at 100 degrees? And we used our regression equation, we would expect it was a half half t half t plus 5 we would expect so at 100 degrees we would expect to get 55 however that's extrapolation because it's outside of the data set and that can be risky because it may not always hold a linear relationship in this experiment as we can see it peaks at around 75 70 degrees and then it tends to uh, tail off so you will not get any more chemical the more the higher you increase the temperature so that's extrapolation when we try and uh, make estimates that's outside the data set so let's take a look at a quick example here suppose i have uh, the results of an experiment different masses were placed in a spring and the resulting length of the spring was measured so we have the regression uh, line and we're asked to work out the value of y when the mass equals 35 grams. So it's fairly straightforward here. Y equals 43.89 plus 0 0.2305 times by, now I'm just substituting 35 in for x. So you take out the calculator. 43.89 plus 0 0.2305 times 35 and we get 51.96 51.96 and then we can do the same that's part one we can do the same for part two so find the value of y when x equals 120. So the same again, 43.89 plus 0 0.2305 times by 120. Let's just go back to the question and change this. So now we're putting in 120, again, 
we get an answer of 71.55. Now, suppose I was asked to comment on the reliability of my estimates. I would say this one here is very reliable because it's within the range of data. This one here is not reliable because it's outside the range of data. You can see within the experiment, we only um, measured from 20 up as far as 100. So anything above 100 is risky to use. Anything below 20 would also be risky to use. Okay, that's the example done. Time for you to have a go. So we've got a scatter diagram here. Pause the video and uh, answer these three questions here. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Here are the solutions. So we got the distance um, when a driver is 60 here the distance when a driver is 94 and then commenting on the reliability of the estimates the second estimate is not reliable because it's outside the range of data we can see here we only collected data for this group here there is a possibility that when you get into your 90s that your eyesight dramatically dramatically deteriorates okay that's it for this video and um, you should now be able to complete exercise 7c uh, that's all from me uh, Best of luck with the revision. I'll talk to you again sometime.